Janko Redkes here for Gigaum TV, and I'm here with Andre Preston, hey. uh, also known, formerly known as Slonchek. And uh, people know you still, some people know you still as the former admin of supernova.org. Maybe you can remind our viewers what Supernova actually was All back right. in the days. So, about 10 years ago, I started this website called Supernova. It, it was named after my server back at home. It was uh, a torrent torrent portal for, uh, for BitTorrent files um, and it was basically the first of its kind and it got really big all of a sudden, bigger than I ever expected or wanted it to be and uh, a few years later due to its huge success so to speak uh, I had to shut it down because I just simply did not like the media pressure or the the look I was getting as this huge pirate and this bad person, especially after loving the entertainment industry. So if you say big, can you d do you remember any numbers to give us a sense? We of had about uh, 1.5 unique uh, uh, mil million, 1.5 million unique views a day. Um, and it was about 5 million views altogether a day, so. Yeah, and you were also kind of the inspiration after you shut it down it was kind of the the reason that other big torrent sites started so pirate base started after that mini nova was actually even a play on that name if I'm yeah correct. there was uh this actually started while we were still online uh at the time there was kind of a big war between the torrent websites so uh, there was a lot of hate and everything but later on i kept in touch with a lot of them uh, some of them became my really good friends some of the admins, uh, but yeah, a lot of them popped up right after us, and a lot of them took our name, like Mini Nova, Mo Nova, Mega Nova, etc. Yeah, and now Supernova is back, but it's something completely different. What are you guys doing now? What are you doing now? So now we're kind of, like I said, I always loved the entertainment industry, and uh, we kind of want to create content now instead of being people who distribute other people's content. So we're focusing on short format shows basically for people with shorter attention span, kind of like you see it and you move on and uh, everything licensed under Creative Commons uh, and fun and educational stuff. What are some of the shows that you have up on the side right now? Currently, we have our biggest show is the infographic show. It's animated infographics. Uh, second biggest one is uh, Thousand Things I Hate. Uh, it's about a guy and situations and things he hates. Um, then another one is Torn Freak TV, which is uh, working together with tornfreak.com. And then the fourth one is FML or F My Life, which is in partnership. W I mean with the rights of the F My Life site. And um, you said you, you're working on Torrent Freak TV, and I think you have actually start, you started to do that before you started this Yeah, Tor Torrent Freak TV was kind of the thing that kind of brought me back to internet and realized that I kind of want to be involved with the whole internet process, because I was like, for a while I was like, I'm done with internet. So uh, I started working, working with Leonard from torrentfreak.com, who, uh, uh, offered me this show and when it started it was awful but I learned through the years from back 2008 to now how to do shows what makes them interesting how to make them short and so on and torrent freak TV you do that and then you also distribute your actual files as torrents or through torrent sites yes uh, is it just because you still want to stay connected to this community or what, what kind of opportunity do you see for legal content on torrent sites? I think that torrent websites are a perfect place to put everything that you want to distribute it, the stuff that we have rights to basically, and give it to people who actually do. I mean, those are the sites that people visit to get content. So instead of avoiding them and trying to say, oh, this hurts us, we believe that torrents actually promote content no matter what. So we're kind of hoping to use the dis distribution system um, to our advantage and for, I mean, we're making it for the people. We want to do this because we want people to see it. So if that's how they want to see it, that's perfect. That's what we want. And what's the, the revenue model that you eventually want to go to for this? 
Well, we don't really, I don't really believe in uh, forced advertising. I think people should see advertise, advertisements that are aimed at a specific show or something that actually could work together. So we're kind of trying to stay away from advertisements and create the fan base for the shows and sell merchandise to people who actually do love the shows and basically then profit from that so, and continue being able to create shows. Uh, so yeah, merchandise mainly. And can you reveal any other plans that you have, any shows that you have lined up or something, anything else that you can tell us? Yeah, we're currently working on two new shows. Uh, one is called Thousand Things uh, Women Hate About Men. It's pretty much the same concept but as Thousand Things I Hate. Uh, it's just aimed more for uh, female population. Also guys, but more for girls. And uh, we're working on a 3D animation show, which is also 20 seconds to 45 seconds about this really mean turtle and other forest animals, so. I'm especially looking forward to the mean turtle, that sounds good. <laughs> um, let's go back to your original starting point for one more second. I'm yeah. wondering, it was supernova.org and you had some controversy around the side and you had we were kind of forced to shut it down but you also of course had a lot of success and I was wondering what kind of lessons you took away from that and how do you apply those now to your new venture and how maybe video sites in general what can they learn in general from torrent sites or from the experience you went through with torrent sites I've learned that uh, I mean it was hard at the time especially getting really bad press um, I've learned that no matter what, we did push the industry forward because I think without Supernova and sites like that, there would be no instant Netflix, there would be no 99 cents iTunes rentals and stuff like that. So what I've learned is, even if the technology at the time seems that it's going against something, I think it eventually leads to something better and I think it brought us all to streaming which I think is the next step, which I think where touring websites are going to go once we have a good streaming peer-to-peer -peer system going. Uh, not that I'm saying that's the right way to go. I think the content provider should be the first one to offer that. But I think the touring websites are going to be the first one to adapt to that system.